Hey everybody, Tyler D here from SharmPros.com. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get a movie file like this, which is the unboxing I did of the um, 2500 sound effects, onto, let's say, your iPhone or your iPad. And because one thing you have to do is the format of it won't work into if you're doing the movies or in, even to your iPhone just by directly putting it in there, it won't allow you to do it. So you have to change the format. And the way you do that, is go ahead and open up your web browser and go to this website um, squared5.com I'll put a link down below where you, uh, you can click on it you can download the, the program here for for Windows or for um, for Mac I already have it downloaded so we don't need to be doing that but here's what's right here we can go ahead and go over to the program here and we're going to launch that so here's a program here and what you want to do is is go up here to file and click on open file here on my desktop here's the video right here go ahead and click that and click on open so you can see here and then go back and to file and go down to uh, export to other formats just click on that and here it is right here and what you want to do is is go here and go down to mega 4 click that and as well click here if you are basically click the resolution this video is in 720p so I'll click on this one here are other formats but 720p usually works best for the iPhone since it records in 720p on the camera itself so we're going to go back up to here to options and options you want to click here and click on mp4 not this one but this one right here we're going to click on that and then click here and go down to h.264 and that would be it right there and you're going to see hold on no we need to do this too so go down here and click on 720 HD as well so we're done with that now so go ahead and click OK and we got everything set here like we wanted. Go ahead and click OK. And here we're going to go ahead and um, have the name, and then you can click where you want to go to. I'm just going to like go to the desktop and go ahead and click Save. It's going to go ahead and start here, and um, it's going to take a few minutes, probably about five to ten minutes. But you can see here's your progress here. It's going to show you where it started, and that's the video there. And right here is just showing you how long it's taking or how long because uh, the video is about two minutes long but I'm gonna go ahead and stop the recording here and I'll jump back on as soon as it gets done doing that okay we're back here everybody um, the program finished and I, I already went and exited out of itself here's the program running still in the background so we're gonna go ahead and eject that there so here's the uh, original visual uh, video sorry about that original video here and here's the new um, recoded video right there. You know, you know what to do is go down into iPhotos because that's how you're going to get it into your iPhone. Here in iPhotos I have uh, on my albums here because I find it the easiest way. And I'm going to go ahead and drag this right in into my iPhoto. So it's going to take a second to import that. So you see there's the video there and um, there, that's the video right there, and so that's in my videos to file album on i in on iTunes iPhotos. I'm having a hard time thinking tonight. So we're going to exit out of that, and we're going to open up iTunes. Here's my iPhone right here, and um, here we're in, we're not going to be doing it into movies. We're going to do it into photos because that's how the iPhone is going to be working. So here are all my albums, like I said earlier. And here, right here, is the videos, video two files. So I'm going to go ahead and apply that. Can you see it syncing there? Preparing to sync to my iPhone. And it shouldn't take too long to do that.
and it's bringing God five step in that file so it's going to jump into that You know, just wait a second while it's finishing doing this. Usually takes, see, yeah, it's a little long for that video there. And finish thinking. I should probably uh, did a smaller video, shouldn't I? Now there we go, the iPhone's uh, done syncing. Now I'm going to go ahead and stop recording here and jump on to my camera and show you um, that it's on my iPhone now. Hey, I'm back. Here on my iPhone, I'm showing that the video did go into my photos. Here's photos right here. Go ahead and launch it and here's the album that I got in from iPhoto. Go ahead and click that and here's the video right here. And you see it. You watch it play sideways. I'm going to stop it there. So you can see it here. Let me go and back to landscape. And it's pretty cool having it in your photos because then you have it here so you can view it on your iPhone actually. But you can also do this. Down here, you can email it, you can uh, text it to somebody. Or what I like to do is when I'm leaving the house, I want to upload a video and don't want to leave it on my computer. I can go ahead and upload right to my um, to my YouTube channel. I can do um, HD if I want to, but I need that Wi-Fi. So normally you can do standard definition. You got them, all your categories, everything like you have on the big uh, YouTube page. But you can just do it here because you're signed into your YouTube account on the YouTube app. So that's pretty much it, guys. And um hope you guys enjoyed this video and demonstrating this. And I'll see you guys later.